Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and you will probably hear two quail, one from my right and one from my left. Um, but I thought that I would try to candle the eggs in this box to see if we could get a better view. So, um, I thought I just saw number one's foot when I tried it earlier. So, we're going to start with uh, number one. So, let's see. And if you hear anything that sounds like a cricket, that would be a girl quail. Uh, none of them have laid any eggs yet. But you can see the turkeys moving around in here. There's something right there moving. I don't know what it is. But I could have sworn I saw a foot earlier. That could be a head, that could be a leg, a wing. I don't know. So I'm gonna try to see. Oh, hush. See if we can get kind of a view of maybe some type of body part. He is very noisy tonight. Okay, no body parts now. You showed me what I thought was a foot earlier. Looked like he was stretching about in there. Mm. Well, you can at least see things moving. Oh, quail. Okay, there's something right there. I just don't know what that is right there. Oh, goodness me. He's loud, isn't he? Obnoxiously loud. Kind of reminds me of Kess a little bit. I think that might be why I named him Kess. Uh huh. So, all right. Well, that is egg number one. Let's see if we can find anything in egg number two that might be interesting. Okay, so here is egg number two. Right there. So let's see what we can, Jesus, quail. Okay, so here is number two. They are much bigger than they were before. And I honestly don't know what day we are on. I think we're on day 18. I will have to check. We either, day 18 or 19. There he goes, he's moving, or she's moving. Oh, he's moving something over here. Alrighty, well, I'll have to figure out what day we're on and let you guys know. Oh, there's something right there. I just don't know what it is. I, I didn't have the camera set up when I thought I saw the foot because I actually wasn't expecting this to work. 
Alrighty, well, number two egg is looking good. So let's look at egg number three. And here is, oh, nope, that's number one. Here we go. This should be number three. Yep. Yeah. So here is number three. Let's see what we can see. There's something in there. And I can feel it moving. Not a lot. Let's turn around and see what we have. Oh, look at that big vein right there. And he's right over here by my finger. Let's turn him back this way. There he is. She. I need one boy and two girls. So there we are. There is number three. And look how beautiful that vein is looking. Let's see what what he's doing over here. Oh, that might be a foot right there that he just moved. Let's see if it'll spread out again. Hmm. Okay, let's go this way a little bit. Or maybe I'm just seeing the veins and I thought that was a foot. Those are some beautiful veins though. Let's see what he's doing over here on this side. Okay, not much. Come on, dude. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. There he is. Okay. There's another part of him. I felt it move that time. Alrighty, well, all three of them look like they're doing really well. So now that I have found a way to do it, we can keep candling the eggs. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.